I think uh, it has the potential to improve uh, uh, cancer care across the whole board. Uh, some of those examples might be in the use of digital technology, things like apps that, that patients can take away and record how they're feeling, their response to treatment, sort of, as we say, uh, ha have a look at, at capturing problems in lifetime. Also, there's a massive in increase in the way uh, patients can uh, in in interact with healthcare. Uh, in sort of, it used to be, either the telephone or an in-person consultation. Now we have lots of variation around that. You can have a video call with your team. You can have a video call. You can schedule those and you can do those. You can kind of choose where you can do that from. So that's really helpful for patients. Against that, I suppose, you'd have to say that you, could, you don't all, all digital in innovation, it's not necessarily going to help cancer nursing. So I think you've got to be careful that you don't rush towards technology without thinking about what it might do once the patient and is it, does it suit them? It's not a one size fits all, but also what that does to the relationship with their nurse and what that does to cancer, cancer nursing. So I'm quite keen that we do embrace technology, but it's got to be in the right place at the right time by the right person. And you've got to think about how that interaction is going to work for both the patient or, and the nurse who's doing it, or, or the doctor or the healthcare person. You've got to think very carefully about that before rushing towards technology, because it isn't going to solve all of our problems.